People living just east of Ramona are back in their homes tonight after a brush fire forced evacuations this afternoon. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Marcella Lee. The Kasner fire broke out between Ramona and Santa Isabel just after noon today, prompting evacuation orders just north of State Route 78. Officials lifted those mandatory orders when firefighters topped the flames around four this afternoon. As CBS 8's Richard Allen shows us, fire crews are still working tonight, putting out hot spots. Well, that's right. While the cause is still under investigation, this fire initially started in a grassy area, helping those flames to spread extremely quickly. Now, Cal Fire's strategy was to attack the fire as aggressively as possible from the land and the air, a strategy that appears to have paid off. They were on it, really on it. Marta Aviles has lived in the remote Witch Creek area east of Ramona for more than 20 years and was prepared when she got an evacuation alert around 2 p.m., about 90 minutes after the Kasner fire first broke out. I got some things ready, you know, paperwork and the important documents. Especially on guard because she and her family endured the Witch Creek fire back in 2007. It was like a foot away from the house. Thankfully, firefighters managed to get this brush fire under control relatively rapidly. Throwing the world at it, doing what we can, this fire continued to grow, um, ordered more aircraft, ordered more ground resources, and eventually got this fire stopped at 180 acres. Wind and weather conditions, while not ideal, still managed to work in these firefighters' favor. Fortunately, the fire was moving northeast, away from the populated areas. It was breezy, but not as bad as it could have been. And really, the, the humidity kind of kept it in check at least a little bit. Evacuation orders delivered by sheriff's deputies going door to door to about 20 homes were eventually downgraded to warnings. And while they were ultimately safe, this area is also home to a camel dairy, as well as plenty of other large animals. The one small spark, as everybody knows, can start this back up. That's something that firefighters are keenly aware of. They plan to be out here throughout the night and over the next couple days to make sure this fire remains contained. A reminder to all San Diegans that we're in peak fire season right now. And whether it's out in the backcountry areas or, or you're up against a canyon in the city areas, we're seeing these fires happen all over the county. There's nobody who's immune to it. And to that end, CAL FIRE urges everyone to have an evacuation plan in place. Make sure you and your family are prepared to leave, if necessary, at a moment's notice.